Today we're going to be doing something very simple, very fast. Woo! Drop something. I have been falling in love with this. This is ooh, let's get it centered. This is Spool 3D, uh, Spool 3D's silk line of filament. I absolutely love how it looks. It's silvery. It's reflective. It's, it's silky. So, as I've been printing with this stuff, I've been asking myself, what would happen if I tried to finish it? So that's what we're gonna do. That's the question we're gonna answer today. We're going to finish this filament. We're gonna see how it looks, and we're gonna try two different ways. Four different ways, actually. First way we're gonna try is Mod Podge. Mod Podge is my wife's favorite thing to use on model making, and I'm gonna use it to try to finish these parts. It's gonna fall in cracks. It's gonna make things uh, clear. It's gonna hopefully make it all shiny and cool. The second thing is I can get it from downstairs. One second. Two part, epoxy, two, two part epoxy, check this out. This stuff's super cool, cures really fast, 15 minutes most. And when it's done, can you see me? Yeah, completely clear, you can sand it. So, first two prints we're trying, no sandpaper. I'm just gonna try to fill them in by hand. been a couple hours, actually it's been a while, and these are very much dried up. So here we got the Mod Podge one. Gotta say, doesn't look like there's much difference. Maybe a little bit. Uh, filled in a little bit, but it's kind of opaque, not very clear, not very glossy. The epoxy, however, looks great. Well, pretty good. So here's the side I ended up painting. Uh, I don't know if, you, if I recorded it, but I ended up just kind of putting it on one side and painting just one side of it because it was dripping a whole bunch. It looks good, but I think sanding it is going to be a necessity, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to sand it and try both of the same things again. Doke. So it's been a few minutes. Um, so we have a Mod Podge one that's been sanded. 
and an epoxy one that's been sanded. I took the time to sand both of them and painted them with both. So, here's the Mod Podge one. Now here it is compared to its unsanded counterpart. Unsanded Mod Podge, sanded Mod Podge. Looks like the unsanded one has a better little sheen to it, which is about what I expected because Mod Podge is kind of a matte finish. This is the sanded epoxy. Sanded off the layer lines on this long side and painted the epoxy on. Let it harden. Looks pretty cool actually. Doesn't even look, it actually looks, this is the unsanded one. This one looks like it's been sanded more than this one, which I assure you, this is the one that's been sanded. Out of all of them, I've got to say that the, hey, excuse me. I've got to say that the sanded epoxy looks the best. If you were going to paint them, uh, if you were going to seal them, I'd say go for sanding it and then putting some sort of clear, glossy body fill or something on it. Epoxy works. There's also a spray body fill you can get from like Home Depot. But honestly, this whole experiment has taught me that probably just don't want to finish them at all, really. I mean, the prints themselves look great by themselves. I'll throw a few more images up. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they need to be finished at all. Like... They look great when they're not finished, but that's why we do these things. Who knows if it would have came up with a really cool looking effect. Alright, anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again. And I'll see you next time.